dear student and learner today we try to learn about a structure of amino acids which is a very important part to understand the chemistry of peptide protein and some of the important drug of medicinal chemistry like uh, ace inhibitor angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor so my goal is very fixed to learn and easily recall a structure of amino acids so in this video so let us go ahead so i can say this is a periodic table and from this periodic table we come to the conclusion that among this all this much element only used for the constructions of amino acid as well as our body part so if we see here then to take the advantage of it and we remember easily all amino acids so what advantage we will take we we'll take that whatever the element which we shown in the last slide that used here carbon nitrogen oxygen sulfur hydrogen and oh so with respect to carbon what are the amino acid we remember we remember that is aliphatic amino acid and aromatic amino acid with respect to nitrogen we remember amide containing amino acid with respect to oxygen we easily remember alcohol containing amino acids with respect to sulfur i can say sulfur containing amino acid hydrogen is very well known for its acidic nature so with respect to hydrogen i can say acidic amino acid and oh is also it is not an element in a periodic table but i have combined this two o and h and to make a one group again extra and this is well known for it's a alkali nature so this is a alkali amino acid so based on that bifurcation we can easily try to recall or remember the amino acids so with respect to aliphatic amino acid and aromatic amino acid i can say this is a technique which help us to recall the structure so with respect to aliphatic amino acid we have a gavli a uh, g stand for uh, glycine alanine valine leucine and isoleucine when the word aromatic come always in our mind there is a striking of phenyl so try a phenyl ring so here a tryptophan and this is phenylalanine so here i interchange a two word replace a um, r by y and y by r or interchange it i get a tie this is known as nothing but a tyrosine then we move ahead and comes to the alcohol then uh, alcohol is well known for bottle so we can say seriously throw it then on whom on a cl that is sulfur is a cl so this is only technique we have the remaining word i have tried to remember it in such a way that suppose i have ac so in case of ac i use a and a c so in case of c we keep like this this is a g so aspartic and glutamine this is a serine this is a threonine this is cysteine this is methionine like this so based on that in case of amide is a derivative of carboxylic acid only so it is also containing a and g aspartic and glutamine in case of alkali i can say we take the advantage of the first two word al and we have oh so this h also will take an advantage so a stand for arginine l stand for lysine h stand for histidine 
and among this all one last is a proline it is not a bifurcated in this case so let us go ahead and try to recall the structure of all the amino acid we have gavli seriously throw on cl so what is g glycine alanine valine leucine and isoleucine we write a number this is 1 2 3 4 5 and one interesting thing at here is in case of iso there is nothing like iso again there is no isomethyl isopropyl isobutyl like that in case of glycine i can say hydrogen in case of alanine i can say methyl in case of valine i cannot say ethyl but i take the advantage of this one so what is this this is v to extrapolate it and i get like this this is what isopropyl so it's a, it is matching with this also and we can remember also in based on the v also okay then we have leucine so in case of leucine i have uh, like this one from here and one from here then i can get like this this is nothing but what the fraction of or derivatives of a uh, fraction of leucine so in case of isoleucine i have a i like this so in that case i make here two like this and from the one place i attach so i get this way so what is this this is nothing but like this that also we have taken from the i so in chemistry point of view i can say glycine is replacement of h with the r so where we have to replace i show you that highlight it with this in case of r we replace r with this uh, substituents the third carbon so sorry third alphabet it containing three carbon this is isopropyl four alphabet containing four carbon that is isobutyl this is a sacbutyl this is untechnically we can remember otherwise this one, you can take the advantage of alphabet then we have seriously through serine and threonine we take the advantage from this alanine because alanine is a main member of our uh, amino acid so here i can write that ch2oh then in case of threonine i have isopropyl group okay so in case of isopropyl group i keep oh then we have cysteine and methionine so in cysteine also we have no problem like this ch2 sh in case of methionine we have that is ch2 CH2 as CH3. Now, how to remember and recall this thing or this substituent? We take the advantage of this M. So, I have a M like this. So, in that M, from one of the place of this or this, I keep a S. Now, I match it. I show you that how it is matching. This is my methyl. This is my S, this is my methylene, this is my again methylene and from it is connected. Is it? So in that way also you can remember. Then go ahead. Phenyl triad or triphenyl. So phenylalanine, tryptophan and tyrosine. Just you can also make a triphenyl. So phenylalanine. So this is phenylalanine. Then tryptophan, just after phenylalanine, we move to the tyrosine. Tyrosine is a derivative of phenylalanine only, but it is a phenolic derivative. So, I can say this is. Then a tryptophan is an indole derivative. 
tryptophan is a pindol derivative so just we have to draw this ring of pindol this is a part of heterocyclic ring and i hope you all know that so it is all are there not connected to the basic ring structure via methylene group only all are connected to the via methylene group only none of them is directly connected then we have a uh, this al and h this is alkali amino acids or alh i can say allah so this is arginine the lysine and histidine so i have this is an alpha then beta gamma delta and epsilon okay this is a possibility so in case of lysine i can say epsilon amino acid epsilon amino group i show you in the structure just to remember epsilon epsilon lysine it's a little bit rhyming word after the epsilon we have uh, that is a uh, delta delta uh, guanido group i say uh, right here delta guanido group now how is the guanido group i anyone have confusion then i can say you have to just uh, draw a structure of urea so in case of a structure of urea just to replace uh, oxygen with the help of uh, nitrogen so what i get is a structure like this this is nothing but a guanido group it is connected via one of the nh the histidine is a imidazole ring derivative so structure like this and it is connected again all aromatic ring this is also an aromatic histidine is also an aromatic but it can easily remember but we forget in case of it is a uh, alkali amino acid so i have keep in alkali but it is also an aromatic amino acid okay let us go we have a uh, aspartic acid and glutamic acid i have told you that alpha beta gamma delta and epsilon this is not used at all we have this two we already used in case of alkali now we use for the acid so what acid we use in case of aspartic acid in case of aspartic acid a is near by the b so we can say beta carboxy group i will show you how it is then it show you a uh, gamma carboxy group that is a glutamic acid in the simple derivative of aspartame and glutamine this is a beta coh2 group and this is a gamma coh2 group because these are the amide functional group containing amino acid is depend on acidic amino acids only so all these words are also used now go ahead and see this is a proline so in case of proline what we have we have a structure like this this is a pyrrolidine derivative this is a pyrrolidine uh, derivative must i have keep here just randomly to recall it then if we see here then come to here this is gamma this is h this is ch3 this is look like a uh, v isopropyl this is a uh, look like this uh, this is isobutyl this is look like this this is isopropyl this is a aromatic word come to hamare dimag mein aa jayega ki try a phenyl this is phenylalanine this is a derivative tyrosine this a phenol derivative so phenylalanine in that para position we keep the oh tryptophan it is containing a indol ring let us go ahead and we see that amide containing amino acids i have told you that in case of aspartic acid this is beta carboxy group 
so how beta carboxy group is here so this is alpha and beta on the beta position c double o h that so just to con convert a c double o h into a c o h that's true then in case of alpha so we are not using alpha beta gamma delta and epsilon we have used now we are going to the epsilon that's right gamma so this is alpha beta and gamma gamma containing c double o h group again we replace c double o h with the help of c o n h 2 we are getting a glutamine go ahead then to c seriously throw on cm this is very simple this is ch2 h this is ch2 sh then in case of threonine we have used a derivative of isopropyl and keep like that again if anybody want to say that this is p so in case of t i keep like this then also it is possible then also it is a uh, possible so methionine we use or we take the advantage of m then alkali amino acid i have told you that lysine epsilon so epsilon amino group is a lysine then uh, alpha no, we are not using alpha, beta, gamma, delta and epsilon. We have used all this thing. Then delta, alpha, beta, gamma and delta. Delta guanido group is uh, arginine and histidine is a uh, indol methyl derivative. Okay. Or indol alanine, that also a histidine. And this is amino containing derivative. This is a proline. So these are the little structure of about amino acid. I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, query or any more video you want, you can write in comment box on YouTube. I will try for that also. Thank you for watching.